so you've put that key into the ignition and you're all set to go. I have no idea what that's referencing. Alright, so remember that when we named my project tutorial example project part 1? Well, it's right here. This is what we did. So if I double click that, remember I saved it to my desktop, so here it is. It's just going to open up right to my last save. I didn't do anything, so there's really nothing that will be saved. Except check it out. All my window panes are all messed up because I didn't save it at the point. So workspace, Jerry's workspace. I'm going to go ahead and file save this. So now when I close it and I try to open it up again, it should open up with all my workspace being all cool stuff and lack. Yep, there we go. So everything looks pretty pretty spiffy there. All right, so let's go and dive into the project bin and how you can customize this the way you want and how to get the most out of it. So the first thing I always do is I, once you do this once, you shouldn't have to do it again, but I set this to list view. I always do list view, it's just kind of a habit. Now how do we add things into the project bin? Well we can go to file and we can go to import and then we can go search for our file here. So video, video files, and I can click open and there we go, the video is now opened. But I'm gonna clear that. Another way to do it is you can just open up your video, okay, on your folder, on your desktop or whatever and drag it in. Okay, that's another way to do it. But the way that I like to do it is I like to double click in this project bin, okay, and it brings you up the import window. And then I go over to each of my folders here, audio, I'll import that folder. So now my audio folder is imported. I go back to graphics, import that, go back and go to video, text, you don't have to do because we're not going to, you know, edit text inside this program, inside Premiere Pro. So there we go, now I have my audio, graphic, and video folders, and it's all subcategorized for us. How awesome is that? Let's say though that uh, you didn't uh, add this video to any folder, okay? See how I closed the video folder, but it's not in there? How do I make a folder? Let me delete this folder just so you can get an example here. How do I make a video folder? Well, check it out. There's a folder right here. It's called a bin. You can name this video. Oh, oh well, my caps lock was on, and drag that video into there, and there you go. Now we have my video thing going on there, pretty sweet. To get even more into it, we can even change the label color. So if you like your videos to be iris, it'll be blue. Okay, if you like uh, your graphics to be green, you can actually label this as a forest color. And if you want your audio to be a lavender, well there you go, it's nice and pink, there you go. What else can we do? We can change the name of our files. Okay, so if I go to audio and I click it, the name, okay, after it's highlighted, just click audio. You can change this to audio moo ha ha. Or you can even change the name of your your clip, which won't actually change the name of your file. It's just so you can get more organized. Commentary. Um, just be aware that once you change this, it might get a little confusing if you're used to naming your files a certain way. So just keep an eye on that, okay? Your graphics, you can change these to be more specific. So this one will be like wallpaper. Oh well, I, I type horribly. And then I'll name this one logo. So now I know what that is. In my video, you can change this to video. and eh, it's fine the way it is. Alright, so like I said, I always make sure I'm on list view. But hey, maybe uh, you want your list view to look a little bit bigger for some reason. You can even uh, change the size of this if you're like completely blind or something. I don't know. It just, it doesn't even change the, the size of the letters. It just changes the folders. But I mean, hey, if you want to see these icons all huge, Hey, that's on you, go for it. If that's not what you want to do and you actually want to see what these icons look like, you can actually go over to the icon view. So click that. Now the icon view doesn't really work too well when you're when you're with folders, but uh, let's say, here, let me go and list view, grab these graphics and drag them out. So they're no longer in a folder. See all the folders are now collapsed, but the uh, graphics are still there. Go to icon view, now you can see what the graphics look like. It doesn't really work when you're in uh, when they're in folders and categorized, so that's why I don't really use this because it's kind of pointless for me. But hey, thing that you like to do, go for it. I'm not going to stop you. So I like list view, and I usually keep them open like this so I can see all my files. The next thing you should know here is the find button. We can find for a logo. Find, click find, and there we go. Logo is now highlighted. If I want to look for a video, find. Well, there's my video folder. If I click find again, it's going to go by search result. I mean, it's kind of like pressing control F in your internet browser, just searching for keywords. But if you're well organized with these folders in the project bin, you really shouldn't have to look for things too much because, I mean, you should be organized. You have these labels to help you out. You have folders to help you out. There's so much that, that you can use so you can avoid having to use this button. All right, the next thing is, of course, bin, which is video. And we can name that 
bin video. We can drop a video bin inside a video bin if we wanted. I'm going to name this Inception. Oh, I cannot type. Inception. Oh, I still can't type. It's cool though. I'll drop the video folder of the video folder inside the Inception folder. Actually, that's Inception folder. Anyway, so there you go. That's how you create new bins if you actually didn't import by folder. The next button is actually going to segue in us into the next part in this series, which, you know, it shows a, us a bunch of cool things here, but I'm going to show you something called what a sequence is, okay? Because let me show you a problem. If you try to drop your video into the timeline, it's not working. Oh, no. And I remember when I first started with this program, it really frustrated me, and I rage quit it a few times because I couldn't get it. I'm going to go ahead and release some stress. Wait till the next part. Just go watch the next part. Just click it, and then I'll show you how. You can get stuff into your timeline and how the sequence file works. Ah, so you have survived part two of this, the first two boring episodes, right? I promise after this part, it's going to get a little bit more entertaining, hopefully, or at least a little bit more awesome because you're actually going to have something working in the program and you're not just naming things and learning how to label things. So there you go. In this video, what I taught you is all about the project pane here, which is very important because you're going to be in there a lot when editing. Trust me, a lot. And uh, these very bottom buttons are actually kind of crucial to you organizing your, your layout here. So anyways, thank you guys again for watching this video. Remember to thumb up, comment, and subscribe. It helps me so much. I'm doing these videos to benefit you, not to benefit me. I mean, I already know how to use the program. This is all for you guys. So thank you for watching. Again, remember to thumb up, comment, and subscribe. Join me for part three.